Hey everybody, welcome to episode 3 of the Thousand Arms playthrough. This is, of course, Rolls the Gamer. And Mice is waking up to the day of a new adventures, which, oh my god, I'm so tired, I wish I could sleep. For some reason I couldn't go to sleep, though, which is a problem, because now I've been up for just over 24 hours, and I have to work tonight, too, so... I don't know, how is this gonna happen? Maybe I'll nap for a little bit after doing this or something, but... Let's train. Training with Jobble. After he fixes our sword. I'm getting it all mixed up. But it's all good. I pretty, I pretty much know what's going on. Got some extra good news. Going almost for certain going to be going back to where I was before that whole DUI business hit me. Which I talked about in the Final Fantasy VIII playthrough. But, uh, sweep that under the rug. Of course his sword's better. He's a more experienced blacksmith. Come on, Sedina. See your effort. Only when you check out, girls. It's cold as ice. They should have never given her the, the chance to burn him like that, man. I don't know. Oh, uh, hold on. I'm navigating all sorts of things. The pop-ups and... Oh, uh, all right. Let's see what he can do with uh, Jowl's hammer. No homo. So I tell you, your sword still isn't as good. Just give up, son. Mice, concentrate. Put your heart into it, and the spirit will know. Well, I'm glad the spirit will know. That's off kind of the spirit. Yeah, cheer up. You got a master now. Your life has meaning again after you were driven out of your homeland. You're really looking at this in the negative way, man. <laughs> Why don't you go check out the town? That means I'm gonna just go and come back. I got no time for checking out the town. I'm a busy man. Who wants to progress the story of the game? Yeah, so there we go. A burp. Now it's training time. You get a little. We call this a quick time event? I think we could. Something that definitely inspire quick time events. Old RPGs had a ton of these though, I swear. They're all over the place. And those are the commands. Yes, I'm ready. What do you take me for? Hey, look at that classic PS1 controller without analog sticks displayed on the screen. That's good stuff. Not much to do, but watch and copy. I think I do mess one or two up, but... Really just clear the game and you'll get MP based on how well you do. I got a good amount, so it's all good. And kudos to the game for that, for giving you something to start out with. When you get some from getting the uh, element from the cat, from the cat, 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 bleh, from the cavern too. So you've been building up uh, the ability to forge swords this whole time. Because I'll tell you, in the later game, 
it almost starts to become too expensive as you level up characters. Like, previous playthrough when I got to the real end game and I was just spamming level ups to, you know, have an easier time of things. So, coming back from where I was training my characters at, you know, one of the later game dungeons, it's like, oh, okay, I can upgrade these four of the seven, the, like, one or two levels that they gained, you know, and you kind of had to just repeat that process. Kind of sucked, but eventually it catches up and there are spells to increase the amount of EXP and the amount of MP gain from a battle, but there are spells that can also cast just a random spell, so it's kind of a high-risk, high-reward grind fest type of thing going on. It's not bad. It didn't scare me off from the game before, so, you know. Oh, just copy the actions. Come on, mice, you can do it. Sorry, I don't mean to have moments of longer silence like that. There's only so many things you can comment over what's a basically extended training sequence. But we're getting into the end game of it now, so there's that. It actually looks to be, um, kind of what I would imagine a, a blacksmith setup to be like. I'm sure it's far more complicated though, but cool. Well done for now. Look at bug bites on my arm. Are you kidding me? But yeah, like I was saying about work, I have that tonight and two more days and then a day off, then a few days, and then an extended time off for uh, my brother's wedding. And I just got myself in the suit, and I look fly as fuck. I might have to do a video of it. Check the spirits, mice. The spirits in the smithy. You fool. Anyway, let's move on to some other training stuff. Once again, when you've played the game as many times as I had, you've done it quite a lot, so. I just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Neighbor Lady's Knife. And I get lost for a little bit here. It's like fucked. I don't know how I missed it so many times. I thought I was a cool and like I knew where the house that I'm going to is. Yeah, I skipped it a couple times there. It's no good, you know? No. Hey, lady with purple hair. There's the area we can't go to that the guards are guarding. I don't know if I... That was ever actually rendered in game. It might just be like a placeholder type of thing, which would make sense. There it is. We missed it. Turn around. I saw her right there. We missed it. That's where the second one's at down there. I was going to say, I swear I knew where she was, but it's okay. Let's double back again. All aboard the idiot train. Choo choo. I'm the conductor. Ah, it bugs me. 
You can find it. You're literally walking in what's a glorified rectangle past rolls. How'd you have trouble with this? I know I was okay. There's, oh, thank God I saw her that time. Look at this fun little interactive moment coming up here. Press the X button. This thing is sorting at the knife. And there's some fucking shenanigans played in it, too. Uh oh. I said, but whatever. Man. Missed at that time. And it did its like magical move there, so I couldn't even hit it. So just press X a lot, basically, is the way to get through it. I just got 20 MP out of the deal, so it wasn't too bad. Let's let her talk to the nice spirit and see. Um. See what can be done so that uh, it's happy again. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time following along with keeping the spirit of a knife happy. It's just been a been a weird moment. A weird concept, really. I guess would be a better way to say it. Wants to be used to cook delicious food. Not just open the wrapper of a TV dinner. Please use it for cooking occasionally. Things have feelings, too. That's a good line, writers. I appreciate that. That's funny. Thank you, and say hi to Jobble for me. I thought that was one of the ladies who was in Jobble's uh, smithy earlier, ooing and aahing all over him. Maybe it was. She's going home now. It's advance the game. Just go back to the house. Let's go back to the house too. No quick cuts in this one because it's a short little track, but yeah. Oh, that's the A-Team. That's not the overall theme. It sounds similar, I guess. Hmm. Mustache is getting too long. I can feel it on my lower lip now. So hard to maintain facial hair. I just wish I could just let it grow and have it grow down and be beautiful. But, alas, working in the public sector, you have to maintain at least a certain level of professionalism and. Usually my nice well-to-do shirts and slacks and haircut do that so I can get away with a little bit with a beard, you know. But, yep. Let's get that pot and pan over there. Like a champion. Actually, I'm happy. This isn't, uh, this will look different. From the previous two episodes, they were rendered in like a widescreen format on uh, Wondershare, the video editor. I was able to run this one through Windows Media, which I usually use, actually, unless um, it has a problem loading. It just takes a while to boot it in because for some reason my recording software was an AVI format, which it had to convert for some reason. I never had a problem with that before, though. Which confused me, but sitting for like 10 minutes it was able to do there. So just, you know, kind of eat lunch or something. Let it alone. And it'll be fine. Yes, yeah, go back to this mythy. I shall join you soon. That's kind of the theme. What's the next task there, boss? Take this to Fort T, the stronghold to the west. You know who to give it to, right? I got a feeling we're meeting somebody new. 
which, which is what we're doing, so I know. Oh, look at this pimp. Stop smirking like that, asshole. <laughs> yes, we can fortify our sword, so let me show you that mechanic real quick here. And then our smithy. Forge weapon, yes. Sedina number one, light interest 